Hello, beautiful Libras. How are you today? Welcome to the channel if you're new. Thanks for stopping by. Hope everyone's doing well. And I want to thank all of my lovely subscribers for their support and love. And I'm so appreciative. Thank you, everyone. So this is a general reading. It won't resonate with everyone. Take what's yours like a buffet table. Leave the rest. Look at what popped out of the deck. <laughs> We, I'm going to put this right here as an overall energy. The bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Coins. So we have two overall energies because those cards wanted to speak. This is about releasing. We'll see how this plays out. You have to release something. We don't yet know what that is. Okay, so we have Six of Coins. Equal give and take is a very big issue here in this situation. All right. So, Libra, in the recent past, your energy is the Three of Wands. Your ships have come in. You're having a lovely time. That is Aries energy. It's very sexy. It's your seventh house of marriage. Beautiful energy for you. At the current time, you are both, these are mutual energies between you and your love interest. So you're both feeling these, these feelings. The energy right now is that both of you are, you might be taking a break from each other. You might not have seen each other in a little bit of time here, but it is a time of happiness. You know, she looks very Cirque du Soleil. It's a hanged man viewing things, looking for an enlightened answer by looking at things from the other person's viewpoint. How your person views the situation currently with you, winner, winner, chicken dinner. We have the Six of Wands card. This person wants to introduce you to their friends. They want a very public display of affection. They like to be, uh, and that doesn't mean kissing. I just mean that it's like, you know, going out as a couple, being invited out, having people, you know, really excited to see the two of you together. Your person is feeling very happy. This can indicate or lead to engagement. But your person feels ex like this is what they've been looking for. You are their one. Okay, and this also is the same energy with the Three of Wands. Both of you feel as though you are the ship that has arrived in the harbor. And it's good energy. It's, it's no longer searching. We go from the Two of Wands, which is at a crossroads, I need to make a decision, to the Three of Wands, I've made the decision. All right, so how your person views you, Libra, Six of Swords, that is Aquarius energy. Uh, Aquarius energy says that you, your person feels as though you've moved away from a, something in the past that was a bad situation. For some of you, it could be the judgment of divorce. For some of you, maybe what they're learning about you is that you're still healing from a situation in which you got a raw deal. But it'll resonate differently with everybody. So, you know, like the buffet table, take what yours. Okay, in their heart space, they too are moving on from a very difficult situation. You might both be newly divorced. Heck, you could be divorced from each other, but I don't think that's the case, you know, coming together again. But again, I get your person is feeling a sense of relief. They've given up their baggage they are open to this relationship. They feel as though there's a lot that they have to learn about their heart space. So they feel as though both of you are in sort of a, a healing modality of some sort. You having maybe, you know, you're healing. They've just given up the ghost though on anything that's really burdening or holding them back in the relationship. But it is, uh, in the heart space, it's not my favorite card, to be perfectly honest. And how they're viewing you is, is not my favorite. But, you know, this one's more positive. This one's okay, but, you know, they're, both of you are probably not quite ready to move forward quickly here. So we'll see if we get a Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so we do get a Page of Pentacles. So that is Virgo energy. So you're both, your person views the situation moving forward as something that one day at a time, you know, Page of Pentacles energy. Practical, down to earth, don't bite off more than you can chew. Don't create burdens where there aren't any. It's a fledgling, you know, it looks like a new relationship after both of you have been going through something from the past in your respective lives separately. What's the mutual energy between the two of you? Good, like kids playing together. Good, this is really beautiful healing energy. This is like butterfly energy. You know, the metamorphosis, the, the pages are like the, you know, the um, 
chrysalis, you know, you've come out of the chrysalis, you've broken out of that, and you're in this transformative, very innocent, sweet energy together, being open minded together also. What spirit is suggesting? Fall in love. Spirit is saying embrace love. Don't be afraid of it. Spirit is very much confirming your page energy here, that you're in a good place, that this, this relationship has the, the possibility and the potential to be the deepest love that you've ever experienced. What do we have for the outcome? Four of Cups. So as a week or the next couple of weeks wrap up, you're feeling a little bit exhausted, disenchanted, you know, something that you thought was, was going to be easy breezy is causing you some sort of uh, detachment, feeling detached, feeling not as loved. Now, I would also say that given the world, the state of, and status of the world, you also might be in a situation where you're both trying to deal with, you know, losing jobs or moving or moving at a really critical time in your lives, respectively. So we're going to clarify this. A really good reading. I like the reading for you. It's very helpful when we see spirit recommending that it's safe to love someone. All right. So why do we have the judgment card here for a beautiful Libra friends? Why is the judgment card here for an overall energy for Libra? Two of Swords, there's something that you do not want to look at. It's really, to me, you don't want to go through memory lane. You do not want to deal, well, you want to deal with the past. You've dealt with the past, but you don't want to talk about it, you know, and it looks as though if you are divorced, you have a situation in which you're having a hard time. You know, you divorced or you left something behind that was just too difficult and you, you're overwhelmed by it, quite honestly. It looks like somebody around you is really putting you through the mill. Why is the Six of Coins energy here, the Tower card? Okay. So as it relates to your person, even though this looks like it was in the past, and it looks like you're moving forward, what we're getting here is that you might be having a crisis with money in some sort of a divorce situation. Once again, it's impacting you. It's impacting the relationship, but not very directly. But it can have something to do with the Four of Cups energy, this feeling of dissatisfaction. So let's see what, what's going on here with the Three of Wands. You feel as though your ship has arrived with your person, that this could be the one. Let's see what we have. The Queen of Wands reversed. Ooh. All right. So that is energy that really speaks to the fact that both of you are feeling as though the other person is the one, but you're very much caught up in your own heads and your own hearts. So it's, okay, you know, it's not the end of the world, but it is, it's sort of a selfish energy. I don't view that as bad because both of you look like you've really been through it. So it looks like you're very, you're watching out for yourself is what you're doing. You're probably so cautious that it's slowing you down. Ah, chariot card, yay. As you look at things from a different perspective, this is how you are moving forward. We're getting the beautiful chariot card, very nurturing energy, Cancerian energy, Cancerian energy. So it's a very interesting reading here. It looks like two people have come together that have really been through the mill. All right, why do we have the Six of Wands? Why is your person so excited? Because you have been a secret. Looks like the two of you haven't told your friends, your family that you're dating. It looks like you've been keeping this under wraps while you get through the early stages. I always advise that. The first three months of dating is all about getting to know somebody well enough to know if you should continue dating them. It's not about falling in love. You know, some people really put their heart on their sleeve and, you know, that's, it's not necessary. It's not advisable. Keep your own counsel, but you've been keeping secret, but your person is really ready to strut their stuff with you. Beautiful. Look at you, Libra. 
so your person feels as though you're very wise. They feel as though you made a good decision about your life, that you're really intelligent, that in this healing, that you are in your power. They view you as a person who's very passionate, very stable, very loyal. So your person really feels as though you've made a wonderful leap of faith into the future. They have great respect for you, hold you in very high regard. So why do we have the Ten of Wands here for you? Or for your person. Why is the Ten of Wands here in the heart space? Because that is not exactly heart space energy, typically. But the Ten of Wands says, I'm taking a break after being exhausted. So it does show your person. But look at that, clarified by the Nine of Cups. If they had not let go of their burdens, they wouldn't have gotten to meet you and to have the chance to fall in love with you. See how the clarifiers change your reading? It's so important to stick around for clarifiers because I get the nine of cups. Your person really, with you, this your relationship with this person brings joy and they can release their burdens with you. They don't have to carry them around. They feel this is a very uplifting, they love you. They're falling in love very quickly. It's more of the, it's very, um, very happy-go-lucky love, but it is love nonetheless. All right, why is a page of coins here for the way your person wants to proceed, how they view the situation? Oh, look at that card. There we go. We have three. I'll put them out. Okay. They're too healing. You know, they're, they're finished with their healing more so than you are in terms of the inner turmoil. I'm getting the energy that your person does not want to just hop into bed and make it all about passion. They really are not, they're seeking their own counsel. They're not looking outside themselves. The Page of Swords says that they're not really tracking you on social media. You know, they, they probably are uninvolved uh, to a large extent. Some people just are, you know, they're not super involved in social media. So I'm seeing your person just, they're not fully healed. They definitely want this relationship to be more than just passion. And they want, they're not really believers that social media tells the story. Okay, so let's see what we have here. We have the Page of Cups, throwing caution to the winds, allowing yourself to be in your feels. That is mutual energy. It is the hidden energy between the two of you. You're having a lot of fun. It's the early part of a relationship for most of you. For some of you, you might have known this person a long time, and then all of a sudden, you know, somebody reached out to someone, but I, I'm really getting a beautiful energy here. Queen of Cups energy, Seven of Cups. Spirit is saying that, you know, you have to be careful about what choices you make as you fall in love. Make sure you are not worshiping a love that is something that it, you know, you need to really be sure of what love is before you commit. Don't commit yet. You, you know, go ahead and follow your heart is what the cards are saying, but do not yet make a commitment. There's you know, you're not far enough along in the relationship, even though you're making some very fast judgments, which we all do in a relationship about the viability. Spirit is saying, don't be too quick. Three of coins energy is the, okay. I like the three of coins and the, the four of coins says that when you're not with this person or you're not with each other, this is your outcome. Okay. For the next two weeks is that you're bored when you're not with them. Basically, both of you are bored. That being together is like very collaborative. You probably have a great interest, a common interest or, or hobby or something. It's like you might have met at work, but it also could mean that you both have a fascination for architecture or decorating your home. It's it's the collaboration card for creativity. But the Four of Cups, well, that's really wild. It does look like you might not be able to see each other for a couple of weeks. Then look at that. Repeating cards, winner, winner, chicken dinner for both of you. So it does look as though you're waiting to see each other. It could be possibly three to four weeks before you see each other. It's like really boring without each other. And winner, winner, chicken dinner comes in as your energy. As you know how this all ends is you being quite happy about it. And it looks as though this might be the first time that your person meets your friends. It looks like it might be your first public uh, appearance as a couple coming in. And Oracle cards go everywhere. So I'm going to leave them on the floor and pick one that's left in the deck. 
It's way too many. Okay. Leap of faith. There we have it right there. Leap of faith. We have that page of wands. Leap of faith is what you are supposed to take. That's what spirit is recommending. But there's and trust. It is safe to trust the situation. So we're going to look at moonology and see what the uh, what's hidden here that you need to know because the moon is where things are hidden. They're mysterious. They're not necessarily understandable. And understandable. Look at this. Look at the bigger picture. All right. So to me, when we say look at the bigger picture, it means is this viable? You know, for emotionally, and is it sustainable? Can you build on this? So let's see what the shaman's dream oracle says for you in terms of advice. Okay. What is the advice from the shaman's healing oracle? Dream healing oracle. Deep, quiet meditation and stillness. This could be a meditative state, but it's a little bit despondent also. But So you really should meditate and stay positive. Fortune's wheel, luck and right timing is on your side. Libra, I like this. This is very, very nice energy, you know. This is a relationship that's still very much in the early stages and unfolding. Thanks so much for spending time with me. I'm so grateful. Take care. Bye-bye.